guys welcome to snow break containment zone and let us have a quick look at the five star uh churnos abilities most of these things are actually available at the scene server so i'd like to thank the snow break gg team for kind of providing us with a translated version on how more or less the skill looks like in terms of text and uh, particular Vikyash, uh, thank you for helping us with this information providing to provided to the community so i'm just gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on how relevant is your kit to the current rosters or the current operatives that we have is she going to you know is she going to be viable so more or less i have some discussion questions after so let's go on first with her featured weapons so uninvited adieu so this weapon is simply a um smg so similar to similar to life wild hunt and life herself so again this weapon has its challenges when it's being used but we're not getting her or we're not getting a cherno for her weapon we're getting her more or less for her skills element again is chaos and for the weapon skills it's mainly i won't go into the details of the text it's um, basically a chaos increase um it's it's a chaos buffer chaos damage buffer so that is just uh, what it says here in terms of the weapon that uh, Cherno will be getting. I'm not sure if we do have any um, alternates for this weapon. I'm sure we have um, going to be one featured at 4 star. But what I mean is the other existing weapons that we have. We'll have to sift through that. But this one mainly buffs her Chaos damage. So this is a nice one. Um just hold on to that thought first because we're gonna be um, talking more about um her skills first before you decide that this is going to be a good weapon for her and also we need to see her in action once she drops um by tomorrow after the update so as for her abilities um we have here uh, from the Snowbreak GG team. So as you see here, most of the um, most of the details are in Chinese. Sorry, I don't read them. That is why this is very useful for us uh, in the community. So again, weapon is SMG. Role, her role is really skill DPS, similar to Life Wild Hunt. Um, the 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 weapon is just additional damage basically, but her whole concept will depend on her skill dps again a very similar role to life wild hunt i'm not saying they're, they're the same but a similar role okay so again this is her text we cannot i, I cannot read this so this is her alternative uh, four star will be, go, be going to that once she arrives tomorrow so standard ability it's called abomination it's a vortex basically that sucks in people or enemies closer so this also does um damage over time so sucking nearby enemies they're dealing chaos damage there's a limit to the number of self-loading borders that can exist on the field at once so you can actually do uh, multiple vortices uh while in effect the uh, deals chaos damage to target over time not affected by weak spot bonuses this is counted as disorientation damage a new type of dot similar to burn and frostbite so we'll have a new dot um dot in this game is it, it's actually nice um it doesn't really play a big role yet on in terms of the enemies that we are facing it's like it's nice to have but it's not really you know one of our main things that an operative should have so um again nice damage we will have to see really on how big the damage for this is because this is really created mainly for mobs um again we're not sure on how this uh, effect this affects uh, bosses or single targets uh for the game so moving on so sorry before i move on neuronic one when the target has a maximum stack of a, a bad moon 
the fire detonation damage decrease uh, increased so that is just it when equipped with the kills weapon shots that ricochet off an enemy enemy will apply a stack of bad move which is actually nice because um submachine guns usually do some ricochet so again moving on to the supporting ability penetrating light um again here is the animation for that one uh, they're slowed basically they uh, go up to the air so churn dashes knocking them up applying slow as well as reflecting stacks of light of thorn hit enemies decays over time when shots hit enemy will let for all current life turn stacks will be detonated to deal additional chaos damage so again her kit is actually centered on her skills even her support skill so neuronic one increase the range ability and decrease the rate of light thorn stacks decay and the last one is her ultimate ability doom in light so this is the animation pretty much nicer than some of the previous operatives that we have so the duration is, is quite it's quite short which is also nice and let us check how it is so performs an aoe attack dealing chaos damage to enemies and applying stacks of blood moon so again this is just pure damage if there are less than the maximum number of self-floating vortices in the field vortices will spawn around the target until the maximum limit is reached the attack will also slow enemies in range so again important things to know about her skills most of them that's all three of them so it has slow um damage over time chaos damage buffing of chaos damage um that's it that's her skill basically so i think this her kit for, for me i think her kit applies more to um mobs again um i think we do have a lot of operatives already that have that ability so again the things to consider guys um if you are actually pulling for her, if you're gonna be pulling for her number one is the damage output of her skills so damage output of her standard support skill and her ultimate skill is going to play a part it should play a, a big part in you deciding whether she is good to pull or not basically uh, what i'm saying in this video is um, i'm giving you options whether you should pass or pull on her but again please be diligent enough to to do research on your own whether she is going to be good for her team right now basically what i'm saying is um these are just tidbits of information you make the right decision by the time she drops probably do another video on her and testing her actual damage before i could recommend her to you guys but right now what i'm saying is the things to consider will ultimately give you a better decision if you are deciding to pull for her or not okay damage output of skills compared to similar operatives um example is uh life uh, wild hunt so you should more or less uh, see if she is worth the pull or not number two um number two reason definitely is not uh you know it's not going to be you know it's not going to be taken against you if you are a big fan of cherno then definitely go for her if you're a big fan of her design if you're waiting for this five star you know five star form then definitely go for it i wouldn't blame you guys if you are a big fan especially you like if and, 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 and if and if especially you like her that much so also number three what does she bring to your team okay also take note that you need to you need to check your current roster is she a redundant operative for you do you have you know if if the she might have similar um uses to some of your operatives so again redundancy check um is she the missing piece of your team probably you're a beginner you're starting out and you lack some of the older operatives that um, most of the older players have gotten so she might be your missing piece as well so also take note on that also the fun factor in in bringing her in bringing her or using her that's also the fourth 
um, thing to consider if you find her kit fun. Again, it, it ties with if you're a fan of her, then go for her. If you have fun using her kit or using her in battle, then go for it definitely. And the last one to consider um, at this point is if you are free to play, uh, try to consider if, again, if you're picking your operatives, definitely check out your current roster and if she still is in your kind of your budget as free to play from the from the resource that you have saved also for mid mid spender and whales more or less they're going to be pulling for her so again it really varies if you're going to be pulling for her or passing up on her but at this point guys i'm if you want to ask my opinion on her i'm actually kind of in the 50 50 range at this point um, again, I haven't demoed her in terms of battle, but right now, right now, more or less, uh, with the way my roster is built, I'm full stack with everybody that I've summoned. Um, I'm 50, 50 on her depending, but you know me, I'll be pulling for her still because I want to showcase her to you guys in terms of how well, how well she does or how bad she does. So again, watch out for the second video on her damage output, basically, on how how she does well on the field or, or she doesn't do well in the field. So again, there's another video right after the update drops tomorrow. So that is it, guys. So hopefully I've given you enough information for you to more or less um, sleep over it tonight. Uh, if you're going to be pulling for her tomorrow. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.